Greetings my fellow button pressers. Today we're gonna press this button and we are going to finish the game. Half-Life Alex. It has been so awesome so far, at least for me. I hope so for you too, and whoever's watching. And uh it's just such a great game in my opinion. I've encountered an unusual amount of like strange visual glitches and stuff than I normally do, but it's probably my computer. Anyway. This is going to be... This is the episode where we blow your brains out. Not with a weapon, but like... Through amazing facts. And visuals. And experiences. So... Let's go! I'm gonna check the thing out. Yeah. Here we go. It's gonna be action-packed. It's probably over an hour. We will see. smarter, Jackson. Play it smarter. Don't just rush into it. We can do this.
Switch the, the things that these are in. Do I? No. Wrong again. Anyway. I should probably save. Get away. Get away. 
sure the microphone isn't picking up what's going on upstairs. Dang. A little bit, but it's not a big deal. I don't think you'll hear it. Sorry. Wow. It's green. Oh, remember they said they built a whole they found a building with some something in it or someone Gordon Freeman and they put a vault around the entire building but do they know what he's gonna do whoa wait a second that's not quite right why is it floating ugh Whoa. 
What the hell? That's not G Man. Almost. <laughs> this is a suitcase. A blue suit. anti-gravity stuff why what's going on yeah I know what's going on shut up what's going on That's why they were in the substations and the pulses going up the wires were green. Wow. The Vortigons, since they have like... Uh, like they can see through time and stuff, the Vortessens. Uh, maybe that's interfering with the room, causing it to distort in time and space. Very strange. I don't need to look for stuff. Oh, that's not quite right. Wow. Okay, you know what I gotta do. Even if this is the grand finale and I'm, I should be in absolute awe. Oh, it doesn't work. Maybe I just missed. Right. Come here. <sighs> okay, I give up. I don't think that piano does what I wanted it to. Do I just like fall down? Magnificent. kind of dangerous. I 
Did you hear that? Or Alex pulling a headset. Wait. It's impossible. He can't say that. He's not here. That must be something he said in the past. <laughs> Escape the Lawson.
Why are the ashtrays? Oh. Uh-oh. 
Fight with secure victory. Hell oh, yeah. I gotta fix this. Okay, this is the last uh, obstacle, not obstacle. What I meant to say is, here we go. We're gonna get Gordon Freeman. Also, if you skipped uh, in the very first episode, uh, whether I put a link there to someone else's video or I made my own uh, section of that video, explaining the events of Half-Life 2 in all episode 1 and 2, you need to watch that. You need to watch that. Uh-oh. Go save Gordon. Ugh. How to heal your suit. But I don't have an HUV suit. Gordon, we just freed you. Impressive work, Ms. Vance. Gordon Freeman? Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Ms. Vance, you wouldn't need all that to imprison Gordon Freeman. So, who are you? Perhaps what I am is not as important as what I can offer you in exchange for coming all this way. Some believe the fate of our worlds is 
inflexible. My employers disagree. They authorize me to nudge things in a particular direction from time to time. What would you want nudged, Miss Vance? The Combine off Earth. I want the Combine off Earth. Ah, uh, that would be a considerably large nudge. Too large, given the interests of my employers. Well, you asked. What if I could offer you something you don't know you want? This is the moment where you watch your father die. Unless... What? Unless what? Unless you were to take matters into your own hands. Consequence of your action, this entity will continue, and this entity will not. Right. So he's okay, right? He lives. My dad lives. You are aware that you've proven yourself to be of extraordinary value. A previous hire has been unable or unwilling to perform the tasks laid before him. We have struggled to find a suitable replacement until now. No! I, I, I just want to go home. Send me home! I'm afraid you misunderstand the situation, Ms. Hans. Wait! Hey, wait! 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 Hired. Wow. 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 There you go. say too much just yet. I don't want to say too much. Just hold on. Let's just appreciate the feeling. If you're confused, don't worry. Just, just wait. I'll explain. Best gaming experience I've ever had. By far. Oh, that's probably the best game I've ever played.
sweet justice sound. She's gone, Gordon. She's gone. Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences. I knew it. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna kill him. Dog. Right now. She's gone. Alex is gone. You got work to do. So, for those of you, uh, and probably most of you, uh, are a little confused, don't worry. Because this was a prequel, right? Or it's supposed to be. Except, not exactly. Um, so, essentially, and there's not an entire consensus on what exactly happened. But, generally, the same story according to everyone. Uh, in Half-Life 2, uh, right, you're hired as Gor Gordon Freeman's hired by G-Man and has to eventually brings down the Citadel, right? And then in Episode 1 of Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, uh, which is the next game after Half-Life 2, uh, the Vortigons are... Uh, like stop G-Man from keeping you in stasis. They have these force fields. And he's like, we'll see about that. And then in Half-Life 2, Episode 2, you know, Alex is mortally wounded, right? And the Vortigons and you help revive her. But that was outside of G-Man's plan. Uh, and so... In that respect, we did not perform the tasks laid before us, uh, as G-Man said, uh, as Gordon Freeman. Uh, we saved Alex, and that was not what was supposed to happen, according to G-Man. You know, because the Vor Vortigons are outside his plans, obviously, because they can control and be in the realm that he's in. Uh, and so he says... He's extracting a small payment for his own, for our own survival, Gordon's survival. And then Al, uh, Eli dies at the end of episode two, right? Except Eli dying is now just a, uh, a token for G-Man. And the, what G-Man does about it is he time travels back uh, to here. And you even heard, like, when we turned the radio on in the very beginning of the first episode, uh, like you hear G-Man's music. None of what happened in this game happened in the reality that Half-Life 2 took off in. Five years before Half-Life 2, none of this happened. And because G-Man interfered, 
can kind of split time two ways. And we're in the alternate one. Uh, he took advantage of us and he let himself knowingly get captured to have us take him out. Now, I guess it's his employer's rules or something. I don't know. But for whatever reason, because Eli died, he used Eli's death to uh, hire Alex, essentially. So that's fantastic. And this means a couple things. This means, one, uh, Alex has now been hired just like Gordon was hired at the end of Half-Life 1. There could be an entirely new universe or the game could take place somewhere else. Like, it's just a whole new Half-Life branch uh, is created from that. Two, the decision that uh, uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 2 with Eli dying, now that that's reversed, Alex is alive, but somewhere else. And so is Eli. <laughs> that 13 year break where there was no more games, no more information, where they were afraid to make episode three or Half-Life three. That's changed. They can do it now. They changed how it's going to end up. And so we could have a Half-Life 3 in reality, and that's kind of what everybody takes it as when you take the crowbar like that. I'm pretty sure that's that's what that means. All right. Well, guys, this was an amazing game. This was amazingly fun to make. Uh, I'm so glad, glad I have that kind of time to make this stuff, and I'm sure... We'll all appreciate the, the wacky intros, but, uh, yeah, this wraps up the series. Yeah. Well, there, there it is. So, without further ado, thank you all for watching. And as always, bye!